All right, everyone, welcome back. I am your Ice Dragon, Ray Ron VR. And today we've got another show and tell episode. And uh, today I've got this waffle box car here from Norfolk and Southern. And what makes this very unique, as you can tell, is that it's got this graffiti of like a Super NES controller, which is pretty awesome. Um, again, this, the Super NES, or the NES didn't have three buttons, just had the two. But nevertheless, um, <clears throat> when Train Life announced that they were going to close down the store, I initially thought that, you know, Xactro was also going out of business. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Train Life announced that everything was going to be 40% off. And so, you know, I had this on my wish list for a while. It's something that I've, I've, I've wanted. And the fact that it was 40% off is like, I need to take it. Not realizing that Xactro was not going out of business and it was actually a bug that um, the Train Life website was also connected to the exact rail website and was uh, able to get this 40% off. So uh, it was definitely a steal. And let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, bad boy here. So this is exact rail packaging is not, it's pretty good. Fairly straightforward. Um, so there's the normal uh, NES style. And then you can see the uh, the graffiti effect here. So that's pretty cool. I wish it was on both sides. Um, the fact that it's only on one side, I guess, is a little bit of a disappointment. But yeah, it is what it is. So there's the uh, detail on the bottom there. You can see just many, many pieces here that can uh, get caught with debris on the track, with my luck. Um, Again, very highly detailed, but when it comes to functionality, I'm going to snag these wires on something. Uh, you can see that um, the wheels are right there. and um, Definitely metal wheels. Um, these are not spring trucks. These are plastic spring trucks. And then we've got, uh, I'm not sure if those are KD couplers. Um, these are definitely not the number fives. But the box says that's Katie, so I'll trust them. But just by looking at the shape of these uh, couplers, they look a little bit smaller. The more scale prototypical coupler there instead of the number five. But uh, again, we've got some interesting detail here with the, uh, the walkway type thing. The metal grate. Let's see if we can get to focus there we go so you can kind of see the detail there very nice though again it, it's detail that I'm eventually going to break eventually because this is what happens when it comes to this detail <clears throat> again it feels like I'm playing a controller <laughs> I do like this uh, I'm glad I was able to snatch this up but it definitely feels heavy Nicely weighted. Again, I'm a fan that it does come with KD couplers, metal wheels, and the decal. I mean, the detail is really exquisite. I don't think, yeah, the doors don't slide open or anything. Yeah, definitely on this side as well. So, but uh, overall, not a bad piece. Not a bad piece at all. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.